Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today's flight is a pretty much, I think, the longest flight I've ever done or will ever do, um, f at least for now. And it is about a f almost 15 hour flight, to be exact, 14 hours and 48 minutes. And this flight is serviced from um, here in Hong Kong over to John F. Kennedy. And I'm sure there are longer flights than this that I am capable of doing. But for now, this will probably be the longest flight I've ever done, ever, in any sim, also on this channel, and obviously on Project Fly. So, and to just show you how crazy, or how pretty, how long this flight is, let me show you my flight plan, and let's compare that to the route and everything else. So here I'm launching uh, Navigraph charts, and you can see how long this flight is, really spans over the uh, Pacific Ocean and uh, uh, and uh, no ETOPS required though because we are close to land never nevertheless um, but we're crossing here over Seattle going cross country over to JFK and this alone here takes about six hours and so you can just imagine how long this takes another six hours here and then another four hours slapped onto that which isn't 16 hours, but I mean, this is not a complete six hours. It's close to six hours. So either way, it's it's a long flight, and plus um, counting in for the uh, winds that are coming this way, I don't know how the 747 is going to come back. I think it's, it has to come back almost empty. We are pretty much halfway full when it comes to uh, passengers going this way, but if the winds, because the winds are coming, go, go in this direction, if we fly back, I don't, I'm not sure how well it's going to cope with this. This was a real flight with the 747. Now that I check flight aware, there are two flights that the 747 do with the on this round. Um, but if I check project fly, there are only triple sevens that fly, which makes more sense. But yeah, it's a very risky flight with this plane with the 747. But it's a real flight that the 747 does uh, from Cathay Pacific. So if you can fly there, you should be able to fly back no problem. Um, also, the flight plan here, f made by PFPX, also struggled, and uh, you can see here, a 028 is close to our max, but not quite there, and um, you can see our f release is 171, uh, I'm, I'm saying 172 tons of f fuel in metric tons, and if you check PMDG, you can see that this is at 99%. <laughs> So we're pretty much full on our tanks. Um, there's nothing we can do. There's no more we can fill. Um, and our payload here is at 52%. So we're f halfway full. And uh, yeah, oof. It, it's a, it's an interesting flight. And I'm looking forward to it. it definitely lets me sleep in. <laughs> 14 hours, I definitely don't need to worry about waking up early. Although I still, just in case, will set a timer for my or set a clock so I, if I do end up sleeping there 12 hours plus well, I don't know <laughs> you never know um, yeah I'll set a timer for that unfortunately I had to do this uh, all over again I of course skipped a lot of time here but uh yeah prepared crash on me in the middle of it obviously because I did something stupid I changed my hardware settings in the middle of everything not my settings but I unplugged hardware and plugged it back in and that caused it uh, prepared to crash somehow and so I'm very scared to do it again <laughs> but yeah no problem we're close to our pre-flight checklist and in fact I'm just gonna go and skip to those minutes for the pre-flight checklist and we're gonna go from there so I don't have to edit anything great isn't it pre-flight checklist pre-flight checklist oxygen tested 100% tested 100% flight instruments Heading 346, altimeter 3012. Altimeter 3012 set. Heading 346, altimeter 3012, parking brake. Is set. Set. Fuel control switches. Cut off. Pre flight checklist complete. And the pre flight checklist is complete. So we're going to go ahead and set our departure here. ASDX. I'm not sure if they use ASDX. Let's go ahead and check our um, our charts. Which here we go. We can check 
nothing refers to as ADX here, although I know, or I'm pretty sure, Asia, at least Hong Kong, Hong Kong is one of the most advanced cities in the world, and if the USA uses ground radar, I'm sure they do too, but I could be mistaken. So let's check our charts. Um, we're gonna go to, let's go to briefing departure. Um, no, nothing there, nothing, ne oh wait. Prior to requesting for pushback and taxi from a parking stand, pilots of aircraft equipped with a weight on wheel switch must ensure the transponder is operating on auto or expander. All right, so yes, we do use ASDX. We've just confirmed it there. And, it's, oh, and you can see us, come on, here. We're here, this is our runway we're using. So we're gonna taxi out over here. It's gonna be quite a bit of a taxi, but of course I'm, with my editing software, I'm gonna fast forward most of it. So ASDX, yes. Thrust rated, D, we're expecting D rated with assumed temperature. Let me just check that. Yes, assumed temperature, D rated with assumed temperature. Flaps 20, taxi route assigned by ATC. Packs on, anti ice is not required. Takeoff safety, it is an astounding 20 degrees. Uh, we're almost 20 degrees here. Uh, we are definitely overweight. Departure and noise abated departure procedure too. Are you ready for the departure brief? Go ahead. Okay, it's going to be a standard pushback and start off the gate. Taxi route will be assigned by ATC. It'll be a left seat takeoff, using D-rated thrust with an assumed temperature, planning a flaps 20 takeoff. Anti-ice will be off. As for the safety brief, if I decide to stop the takeoff, I will call stop. You will monitor my actions and call any omissions. I will close the thrust levers, raise the speed brakes, and apply maximum symmetrical reverse thrust consistent with conditions. You will nominate the symmetrical pair if appropriate. I will utilize the RTO function of the auto brakes. If you call auto brakes, I will apply maximum manual braking. You will note the speed and notify ATC. I will bring the aircraft to a complete stop before calling for the appropriate QRH checklist. If I continue the takeoff, I will call go. With the gear selected up and safely established in the climb, you will restate the failure. I will fly the aircraft, engage the autopilot, and call for the appropriate checklist when safely established in the climb. We are over our maximum landing weight, so if we are able, we will hold and burn off fuel before returning to the airport. Okay, all going well. The departure routing will be via the ATC assigned SID, complying with all published speed and altitude restrictions. We'll use NADP2. LNAV and VNAV are armed. Flight directors are on. Mine is master. Yours is slave. Navigation radios are set. The NOTAMs and the aircraft defect log have been reviewed. Any questions, comments, or concerns? I'm good. Departure brief complete. All right, perfect. We're uh, I skipped. I went ahead and skipped time because in about a minute we'll get our load sheet, and as when we do um, do our MCDU program, it completes its programming, and uh, yeah, we we're almost ready for pushback. I mean, seven minutes. That's pretty much ready. Um, so yeah, I've you know, guys, I've with the X plane video which I hope you guys watched. Um, I, I don't see a lot of views on it, but I hope you guys watched because that was the first video I actually edited the way I kind of hope to edit my future videos. With prepared, there's a n negative thing and I, it's the there's no such replay system like an X-Plane where I can actually record the landing from different views or the takeoff from different views, which I would love to do with prepared. Now I know there are some third-party softwares that can do that. Um, just give it a second here. Here's the load sheet for you. Thanks. I know there are third-party softwares that can do this. I haven't researched what they are and how to use them, but I know there are some. But uh, for now, I'm going to keep uh, it as it is and keep this editing on prepared as simple as possible. Only in X-Plane will these editing features be as good as they were. Um, I whether they're very good or not, I'm not sure. That's up to you guys. To me, they were pretty good, and I like the video overall. And I think you guys should watch it, no matter if you guys don't like x or, or you do. Uh, you guys should definitely watch my last x video with the 757. It's worthwhile. It's beautiful. Um, but yeah, ever making that video, I thought, okay, how will I ever want to go back to prepared? How? It's 
the X plane just looked so damn beautiful, and I had no excuse to go back to prepare. Well, I did, but I mean, X plane is just such a whole different world, literally. Um, but um, I've changed a little, a few settings here and prepared, and I'm now getting decent FPS in most scenarios. Or I'm happy with what how it looks as well as um, how it performs and um, with that um, I think I'll, I'll be sticking with prepared still so yeah takeoff flaps 20 and acceleration is 1500 thrust reduction is 1500 our V speeds here are 148 one seven three and one seven nine. Trim. Shall I turn on the APU? Yes. Starting APU. Trim. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board today. As you locate your assigned seats, please place your smaller items under the seat in front of you to provide more room for larger items in our overhead compartments. Then turn and we're gonna go check our progress. Hundred twenty eight, that's not too bad. If you are unable to accommodate any item in the cabin, please bring it to the boarding door and we will check it for you. So one seventy nine? Enter that in here. Want to verify VNAV is now available. Perfect. No VNAV message. Seatbelts are on. Like the door is closed and lock seater displays are set. MCP is set. Everything is done there. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. Please disconnect the air conditioning unit. Roger. Disconnecting the air conditioning unit. Cockpit to ground. Oops, forgot one thing. Cockpit to ground. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. Please disconnect the GPU. Roger, disconnect the GPU. Cabin is ready to go. Thanks, it'll be a long taxi. Thanks, let me know if you need anything. Captain, the GPU is disconnected. Perfect, so we're gonna check doors, make sure they're all closed. And arm them all. Return menu, A cars, status. Cockpit to ground. Go ahead. Can we pressurize the hydraulics? Roger, you okay to pressurize the hydraulics? Perfect. We will Let's skip to a minute. Before start procedure. Are we clear to pressurize? Yes. Thanks. Doors are all closed and on automatic, so that is checked. Takeoff trim we can set in just a second here. So. 6.8.
Yep, perfect. I'm ready for the checklist. Before start checklist. Before start checklist. Flight deck door. Closed and locked. Passenger signs. Set. MCP. V2179. Heading 080. Altitude 5000. Takeoff speeds. V1148. VR173. V2179. CDU preflight. Completed. Completed. Trim. Set and checked. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Completed. Beacon, both. Before start checklist complete. Start sequence is four and three, then two and one. Check. Go ahead. Communication check, please, and confirm the brakes are set. Communications are okay, and the brakes are set. Thanks. And a perfect 24 Zulu. Or zero Zulu. Departure. Pull up and remove the cushion. Upon exiting the aircraft, place your arm very close, the at least within a minute. Located on the back. This is a non smoking flight. Smoking is not permitted in the cabin or laboratory. Cabin lights will now be Roger, turned off. facing like west. Release a brake, please. Thank you. Brakes are released. Brakes released. Okay. Commencing pushback. Okay, now I know that is the NJXU that is ha that has the issues with uh, Ultimate Ground Crew, and not Ultimate Ground Crew itself. That's good to know. Start engines four and three. Starting four and three.
Push rate is complete at set parking brakes, please. Brakes are set. Roger. Start engines two and one. Starting two and one. Okay, the tow bar is disconnected, so all equipments are clear. You're clear to disconnect and go to hand signals. Roger, have a nice flight. Thanks. I don't think the uh, auto start, or I don't think uh, starting s two engines at a time was the correct choice for this 747 because it does not have auto start. Roger, have a nice flight. And what the heck is going on here? For taxi procedure. Okay. Before taxi checklist. Before taxi checklist. Anti ice. Off. Recall. Checked. Auto brake. RTO. Flight controls. Checked. Ground equipment. Clear. Clear. Before taxi checklist complete. Flaps 20. Flaps 20. Clear left. Clear right.
Runway entry procedure. Okay. I'm ready to go. Take off. Check. Eighty knots thrust set. Checked. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Gear up. Ten thousand. Happy to release the cabin crew. Go for it. Okay. Oh, 
now, so 10,000 feet. We'll go ahead and do also a couple checks here. Center fuel pumps will still need those. In fact, do we have fuel in the stat? We should have fuel in those as well. Fuel is right here. Yep, we do. So we can actually activate these. Let me just change one more setting. That's what I want. Check the flap speed. So we're already incredibly fast at uh, 10,000 feet. Two three zero knots. Or t sorry, three five zero. Three five zero knots. And already Mach 0 0.6, almost 6.6. Six. Uh, it's that's that's impressive. guys with that i'm gonna say uh, we'll see you at, at the arrival of jfk i hope you guys enjoy the departure um and yeah until then see ya bye-bye bye-bye now Flaps 20. Speed checked. Flaps 20. Set VVF plus 15. Set. Flaps 20 green. Runway. Flaps 30. Be checked. Flaps 30.
Landing checklist. Flaps 30 green. Speed brake. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. 30. 30. Set and checked. Landing checklist complete. Cleared. One thousand feet. Approaching minimums. Approaching minimums. Fifty above. Minimum. Decide. Landing. Check. One hundred. Fifty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Long landing. Long landing. Speed brakes up. Reverse green. Sixty knots. Auto brakes. After landing procedure. Check. Lights and doors. Cabin crew, disarm doors and cross check. Why it's so jumpy? Sure. 
Shutdown procedure. Check. Ready for shutdown, but check the power source. Captain, the GPU is connected. Shutdown checklist. Shutdown checklist. Hydraulic panel. Set. Fuel pumps. Off. Flaps. Up. Parking brake. Set. Fuel control switches. Cut off. Weather radar. Off. Off. Shutdown checklist complete. And that is the end. I hope you guys enjoyed th this video, although we are parked in the wrong place. It is a correct gate, but it's, I mean, it's not the correct gate, it's the correct terminal, but it's not the correct, correct gate. Um, either way, it was a great flight, it was a nice long flight. It's the longest flight I've ever done, as mentioned before. And uh, yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, I do plan on featuring the A330 very soon, um, as well as the Q400 and the CRJ Professional. So I don't know when, when that will happen, but I'm planning on it. Thank you guys so much, and until next video, adios.